Hi, everybody. Leanne here. We are live with our Oracle readings today. We are um, we are on February already. We've got a fun numerical day, 02-02-2020. Uh, so good creative day. This year is really good as far as things coming to fruition. So I hope that you are expanding and feeling the energy that's been happening so far this year. I'm here to support you. <laughs> so, all right, those of you who know how this works, you've already got going there. I see the me pleases. Thank you for that. And I will begin reading you guys individually in a bit. Um, I'm using today this spray that I've been using. This is the Lilac Light from Amanda Ellis. It's been really helpful, kind of, it, everybody's been saying it smells like Pledge. It's natural stuff though. Um, so it's it's um, got a nice uplifting vibe to it. Um, I'm also using a few tanzanite friends. They're so little, and but they're so pretty. So I've got some of those going. And that helps us with um, basically becoming into more creativity and seeing ourselves for who we are. And that'll be that'll be a good thing. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to be using the Yantra deck as usual, but I'm also going to do individual readings today with the Secret Language of Color cards. So these are fun and gentle, and you can actually visualize your colors when you are, you know, doing healing work on yourself or meditation, that kind of thing. Um, hopefully next weekend, we're going to have an Ayurvedic for family health uh, workshop that's kicked off. It's actually six solid days of training. Sorry about that. Um, and we are really excited about the fact that we can learn all we need to know about do doshas and um, how to take care of ourselves with herbs and food and, you know, be mindful for our whole family. Um, we've also got mindfulness meditations on Sundays, which seems to be going well. Uh, we've got working with crystals um, on February 9th. So that's with Stephanie Soder. If you want to get more use out of your crystals or you want to know like how to cleanse them and things like that, that's a good class. And I'm doing guided group every Tuesday now. So if anybody wants to come get a a fluff or a healing for 45 minutes on Tuesdays at 11. That's an option. Okay. Let's get started here. All right. We're going to do our usual three card spread for the week. Then we're going to build on that reading. So the reading is relevant to you. And then we're going to throw another card that's specific to those of you who are saying me, please. We'll get to as many of you as we can in the time we have together. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this week we start off with, this is interesting, honesty upside down. So when honesty comes like this, what it's actually calling to is our deep core beliefs that are not really true or no longer serving us. We sometimes we link up things within our systems, like this is the way the world is, but this is how it is. And there's no changing that. And that's not necessarily true. Things are trying to change. Now, honesty is, is the reason why it's coming upside down. And it says this this way is like, sometimes we're not brave enough to face the lies we've been telling ourselves, because we're scared to change. So this week, we start off being a little scared to change being a little stuck in our old ways of thinking. All right, upside down. This is like what we're going to be, what to do this week, action and taking next steps being upside down. That means go slow. Take this week to kind of get to know what's happening, survey the scene, survey your own triggers uh, before taking steps um, because you may not have all the information yet. And that's, that is important to know because if if you take action before you know everything or you take action out of reactivity rather than that conscious thinking space and you're stuck in those old beliefs, you may perpetuate something you don't intend to perpetuate. OK. All right. We end the week. This week's a little got a little bit of <laughs> generosity giving upside down. Um, so feeling a little bit stingy, feeling a little bit like you want to stay inward. And sometimes that's necessary, especially if you're if you've got the imbalance going on with the giving um, space, you've overgiven and now you're resentful about it or something this week. It seems like it's going to be a retreat week. OK, so take your energy inward, reflect on some things that you've got going on and, you know, make friends with yourself again, basically. Okay, let's start the individual readings. <laughs> 